Welcome into the studio, Eagles insider Dave Spadaro with new Eagles linebacker Paul Warlow. Right, I got it right? Yeah, yeah. right. So we just came from a press conference. Thrilled to be in Philly. I've never heard somebody so excited to be back home. What has this day been like for you? It's cool. It's, it's been a long day, man, but I'm just I'm trying to take moments to just soak it in that, yeah. that I'm actually an Eagle. I mean, this is something... I mean, this is the this is it for me. This is you know what the dream has always been. Has this day been kind of at all like a kind of pinch me? I'm actually here. I, I actually saw Brian Dawkins. I saw I saw the coaching staff. I, I looked on the walls. I remember those games. Yeah, in a sense, yeah. Especially in the hallways, you see all the you know all like the front page things on the wall. Just the old games, you know. And those were the games when I was a kid. I was that's what I was watching. You know, those were the guys that, that every Sunday I was watching. You know, thinking, man, you know. That's what I want to do. I want to play ball. I want to play ball in Philly. I think that's a great story. I think you're a great story. You know, last year the Eagles had this underdog theme winning the Super Bowl. And, Paul, your career has been <laughs> totally underdog. But how many people along the way have told you, give up the dream, you're not going to make it? Oh, a lot. Yeah, yeah, we'd be here all day. But, you know, that's, you know, I don't let, I don't let people define how, how I'm going to live my life. How would you react to it if, if, as, as a young guy at the time? Yeah, you just you just you know you just channel it and you just keep you keep training you just keep going hard every day and uh, you just stay in the present. That was something I learned that I still work on this day, man. You, you know what's next? What's next? What, what's tonight? What's after this? What do I got to do? What tomorrow morning? You know I don't, I don't look too far ahead. Concord High School in Delaware, a stint for a year out in Kansas, right? Yeah. You, what was it like out there? Uh, it was good. It was it was good for me as a as a as a kid just graduating high school that hasn't been out of Delaware yet to go out there. I mean, I redshirted, but it was, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of growth for me just as a ball player, playing with new guys from, from around, you know, around the country. And uh, redshirted there and then just ended up, I wanted, you know, realized I wanted to play at UD, so I just walked on at Delaware. What was the jump like going to UD from high school? Uh, it wasn't as bad you as I thought. You dominated, didn't you? Yeah, I just, I mean, I found, got my, you know, got a role on, uh, in the starting lineup, just, you know, when I got there and then just, just, you know, stayed on it. 2013, you're ready to become an NFL player. Did you get a lot of notice? Did you get a lot of attention? Did people say, hey, you may not get drafted, but we like you? Yeah, a little bit. Atlanta was the only team with an undrafted contract. So, I mean, that, that was it for me. And, and I mean, I was super lucky to end up there. I mean, that's something I don't take for granted. That was an awesome opportunity for me. Paul, why do you think you made it when guys who are bigger, stronger, faster, maybe more talented, Drafted higher, those guys haven't lasted six years in the league. Man, I can't. I can't tell you. I don't. I don't know. But I just. I know. I know what I'm. I know how I'm going to handle my business, and that's something I just concern myself with me. You know, and, and how I prepare, how I train. You know, it's a 24-hour job. You know, I just put put my own hours on it. When when I come in, and you know, that's how I treat it. I mean, it, I'm always on the clock. When did you start loving football? Oh, forever. I. Don't, I can't even. I mean, can't like literally, that. when you first put the pads on at age seven years old yeah, or whatever. Probably begging my dad to let me play football until until I could get on the. What is it about team. the game that you love? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. As a kid, just probably the physicality and, and running around and hitting. I think as as I'm getting older, and especially years in the league, I mean, it's uh, it's you know the the locker room, the camaraderie, being a part of a team. I mean, the day in, day out, you know, spending time, breakfast, lunch, dinner, practice. It's just those relationships you build. I You're going to be a coach cool someday, thing. aren't you? Yeah, I want to coach. Yeah, I'm yeah. Coach so someday. play another five, six, <laughs> seven, eight years, and then you'll coach. Uh, Paul, for you, special teams has been a very important part of staying in the NFL, having success in the NFL. What's the mentality that it takes to be good on special yeah, teams? I mean, especially, that's ball. I mean, mm -hmm. ball is ball. Offense, defense, special teams. I mean, that's kind of the attitude I think I think you have to have. And, uh, I mean, you, you can change a game through special teams. I mean, you, you, to be a good team, you've got to have a good special team, good field position. You know, if you can get takeaways, I mean, that is a huge part of the game. And, uh, I mean, when you got guys that, that care about it, and usually always do, I mean, it, you can be a special team when you when you got special teams. All right, so you told a story in the press conference that you and your wife attended the Eagles-Falcons game, the yeah. playoff game. First time you've ever been to any football game at the NFL level as a fan? Yeah, that was the first game as a fan. What was ever. it like? like? Did you tailgate? Like, what did you do before the game? <laughs> so, walking through, I mean, I got buddies that always tailgate you know, Eagles games, family members that do. Walking through the parking lot, I was blown away. And they, they go hard. That was, it was impressive. It was cool. It's a cool atmosphere to, to walk through, man. And, uh, I mean, just, just to sit there and watch the game, I mean, to think, like, I mean, this is where I want to play. Uh, it, was, it was a cool moment. Defense here. Jim Schwartz likes to attack. You mm -hmm. talked about that, how you like to attack. Why is that so attractive for players? Yeah, I mean, especially as a linebacker. I mean, you watch the linebackers 
play in this defense, I mean, you, you get to get downhill. I mean, and, that, and that's what you want. You want to be able to go downhill and make plays. You go back to Delaware and, like, just, they, uh, everybody looking at you and welcome you. Hey, welcome home. Great yeah, to be an there's Eagle. There's a lot of people fired up, yeah. which, is, which is cool. It, it's real humbling. Yeah. yeah I, I don't take it for granted. Is it difficult, do you think? Are you anticipating it being, I mean, could it potentially be, hey, just leave me alone, guys? I just, I just want to play football? Uh, yeah, maybe sometimes. I don't know. But, I mean, I don't got a problem just yeah. – you know, just staying, staying in my world, you know, staying in the pocket and doing what I got to do. If people that know me, they know, I, you know, you might not get a text message back for a couple of days, right. you know. So the people that know me, it, it won't be a problem. Born and bred to be a football player, now a Philadelphia Eagle. Love it. Paul Worlow, thanks so much for joining us in studio. Appreciate it.